Hey Planner friends, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to do a flip through of my 2021 B6 Talogy notebook, uh, which was my main personal planner uh, during last year. Uh, that was the second year uh, that I was using B6 Talogy as my main yearly planner. And also the second year that I set it up uh, the whole planner for the whole year. Uh, and basically used it not as a bullet journal, but as a planner, even though it's not like a pre-printed, but it was, uh, I guess, handmade. Uh, so let's get started with the flip through. There is a lot of pages, uh, so this might take a while. So the notebook itself I got as a gift from my dear friend uh, Lidis, as well as this uh, beautiful cover. Uh, on these first two pages, I used to change uh, the decoration based on my mood and also season of the year. Uh, next, I have yearly uh, calendar, mood board, vision board. Uh, and after that, uh, here is my yearly mood tracker. And uh, also I flagged uh, some pages which I really like the most in my planner. Uh, so those are the pages that I would like comment or something like that. Others I will probably just flip through. Uh, so mood tracker is one of my favorite spreads uh, in this planner and uh, every other like yearly planners uh, that I had in previous years uh, because this is such a good overview of the year. I have my mood, also some uh, important things during the month, um, when was my period, if we had any bigger purchase, when was my salary, basically things like that. And also I, I can see here like when I wasn't very uh, consistent with using my planner. Uh, next is a monthly bills tracker and after that I have all 12 months uh, next to each other. So I set this uh, planner at the beginning of 2021 and uh, basically have all the spreads prepared except uh, weeklies for the last two months, November and December. Uh, so that was the time when I actually changed uh, the weekly setup. And uh, monthlies are looking pretty much uh, the same. Uh, basically, here I would write down all uh, the birthdays, anniversaries, events, uh, appointments. Uh, also, day-specific tasks are all, also on my monthly. Uh, on the left side, I would write down my monthly uh, to-do list. Uh, this signifies uh, days when I was on a vacation from work. And I would also uh, put like a highlighter um, on the day when day was extra nice or special. And this part here I usually use for stickers, basically any, any decoration, except a few months when I was writing down uh, some tasks, actually the bills. And yes, basically that's it um, for my monthlies. And now uh, we are in my weekly section. So how I set up the month, uh, the, the months is I have a monthly uh, tracker. After that, there are all the weeklies for that month. And at the end, I have a monthly memories page like this. So it's tracker, all the weeklies during that month, uh, memory page, and then again, the same for next month. Uh, so first few weeks I wasn't using my planner. Uh, I set this up in the middle of January. So these were, these were, uh, mostly like testing pages. Uh, I really like how this page looks like. Um, uh, I was testing also the week on four pages. Uh, I didn't do that uh, before 2021 and I just felt like I need a bit more time, a bit more space for dailies, I guess. Uh, so I went for it and I really liked it, enjoyed it um, for the first half of the year and a bit more. But during second part of the year, I felt a bit overwhelmed because I didn't have much to write down. Uh, so... Regarding the weeklies, I have set them up, like I have this first uh, general weekly uh, space, then all the dailies. 
and um, weekly section i set it up like a monthly calendar with highlighted current week a weekly tracker which were and uh, weekly trackers were working very good for me last year uh, they were very motivating uh, to do things uh, and i had some goals section and that's the first month then i have uh, monthly memories now we are in february uh, month of february regular weeklies i really like how this weekly looks like uh, the same as previously i have this part set it up and with also kind of like a review this uh, part here i wrote after uh, the week was um, over and i really like how like these mini stickers looks like look like and basically mostly the same february memories and uh, monthly tracker uh, next are all the other dailies and for example on this page i didn't have what to write down for this day nothing important happened uh, so i put it a uh, quote and a bigger sticker i changed that uh, in my current 2022 setup uh, i will put the link to that video uh, here in the cards and as well as in the uh, description below some regular weeklies i would write down my task list and i would also put uh, outline on the things that were nice so on this tracker i actually changed some things i added this part here for things which are not happening daily and um, i thought it would work better but it wasn't like the best thing for me i love how um, trackers looks like uh, look like and i really enjoy when i uh, basically fill them up but i'm just not that consistent with going uh, on that page and like jotting down the things that uh, that i did and on this uh, week i uh, started testing like a timeline daily um, i like it but it didn't work for me because i didn't have enough space for to-do list and another quote because i didn't have what to write down here Uh, I really liked uh, this highlighter uh, and uh, this is one of my favorite spreads in my whole 2021 planner. Uh, this was actually back planned because during this week I was on a vacation with my family and I just love how uh, these stickers looks like, look like and also uh, combining uh, the pictures too. So definitely one of my favorite spreads. I will just quickly flip through because there is really a lot of pages and yeah main memories another month so this is june i would also write down uh the current month here uh, it just helps me like organize better when i open a page i know which month that is i think i forgot to do that on a later month but it's very useful this is one of my favorite spreads too i like how this looks i'm not a big fan of red but here it's so like subtle and it's it looks like very nice here i had a longer uh, weekly to-do list some quotes, stickers, another memories. Yeah, so uh, this is July, and in July I kind of felt like uh, I, I was in a kind of a planner funk, if it's how it's called. And as you can see, I started writing down here with blue pen just to try something out because. I just didn't feel uh, joy when I opened my uh, my planner during that uh, month, but it I guess was better later on. I love this sticker and these two. Uh, 
so there is a lot of empty pages here also in July uh, or no in August I got my little A6 on the go planner uh, so that is something that I used um, in combination with this I love these uh, stickers so we are in September and during these weeks I was on a vacation so I didn't write anything down uh, and on a vacation uh, I didn't take my B6 Tology and I think that was the first time like going somewhere on a trip and uh, that I didn't have my Tology with me So this is the first week that I didn't uh, set it up at the beginning of the year. So as I said, I in the middle of the January, I set and draw all the lines for the weeklies and monthlies. And uh, this was the last week that I set it up at the beginning of the year. And all of the other pages were blank. So that was, the, uh, that was when I uh, decided to go back to this layout uh, because I realized that I don't have much to write down. And besides, I have this A6 on the go. So yes, I went back to this uh, layout, which I'm using also this year too. Uh, November tracker. I really like this um, page too. November memories, another weeklies, and this is December, basically the end of the year. And these flags I was using for a current month, current week, and uh, current tracker, I guess. So that's it. The rest of the pages were meant to be like the weeklies on four pages, but since I used weeklies on two pages, I had some pages uh, like spare. And uh, at the back, I have my uh, notes pages, which I used for many different things. Uh, I was using it for some lists, for uh, also for journaling, quotes, inbox, like random stuff, uh, credit card uh, debt tracker, some journaling pages, monthly master to-do list, motivation. Next are some random lists and notes, June master list, uh, de some decoration. This is from the magazine and this I got uh, in an order. And I really love how this looks. After that, uh, here are some like journaling pages, master to-do list, and some journaling. And basically that's it. At the back, I this, these are the pages that are left. So yeah, not many. Uh, here I have some test pages. Uh, this I set it up at the beginning of the year like um, brainstorming of goals trackers stuff like that basically how to set up the planner and what I want to keep in here and at the back I have this clear pocket I was keeping my stickers here and like other paper stuff uh, so that's it for today's video um, I really hope you enjoyed watching this. There was a lot of pages. I feel like I was quickly flipping through them, but even though I, it took a lot of time, 
so yes thank you for stopping by and have a great day thanks again for watching bye